doing? Good. Yeah, I do a podcast called uh, Two Men and a Half Lady. It's uh, me, myself, my friend Jan Brenner, and um, a trans woman named Emily. And she's the one that picked the name. And yeah, she picked the name. And, <laughs> She got attacked for picking that name by a transgender man. And because that's my homegirl, I got to back her up. So they're going back and forth on Facebook. And I go to the transgender man. I go, for somebody who wants to be a man, you really need to grow a set of balls. <laughs> there was a lot of backlash for that, let me tell you. God forbid a cis white male says anything. You guys know masturbating in a public restroom is a crime? I didn't. <laughs> Found out while I was drinking. When the cops got there, put the handcuffs on me, I was so drunk that my natural in instinct was to scream, Now choke me! <laughs> they did. Oh my God. I got off. <laughs> and let me tell you something, guys. They didn't find it as fucking funny as you guys did. <laughs> <laughs> know what you guys are saying Justin McDonald god damn is that the whitest name on the planet but boy is that a good looking Puerto Rican up there <laughs> my wife's Latina she's from Mexico she thought the same thing when we first met for the first three months we started dating she just assumed I was Puerto Rican I assume not to tell her any differently because shit, I was getting late and I didn't want to ruin that. <laughs> you would have thought the shamrocks around the wrist would have been like a dead giveaway that I'm not Puerto Rican. <laughs> she just thought I was a lucky Puerto Rican. <laughs> when I met my wife, I... Yes. <laughs>